Hey y'all, for the last seven days, I've been doing sweet refrigerator pickles. These are easy and delicious. I put together a video, I did it here and there. You'll see on some of my videos, I'll say it's day one of the sweet, sweet did I say sweet potato? <laughs> sweet refrigerator pickles. Or it's day two, or we're gonna do day three. But here, I've put them all together in one video for you to watch. So if you notice those little snippets inside other videos, you'll know what this is about because I'm gonna try to upload this next. So I hope you enjoy this. It's seven day easy refrigerator pickles. Delicious if you don't want to can anymore. If you've got leftover cucumbers that you need to do something with, this is what you need to do. It's great. And I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. Seven day sweet refrigerator pickles. Here we go. I don't know if you're like me, but I have extra cucumbers that I don't want to can and make pickles because I've got enough of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash all these and we're going to make seven day refrigerator sweet pickles. They are delicious. They stay in the refrigerator for quite a while. And I'm going to show you day one today. Okay, I've got my, pick, my <laughs> pickles. <laughs> I've got my cucumbers washed and I'm going to cut the ends off. You know, sometimes the ends are bitter, and I'm just going to slice these. You can do these thin, you can do them thick, but you need to kind of do them all the same size. So if you're like me, it's the end of the garden vegetables, and you're ready to quit canning for a while, but you still have leftover cucumbers. So let's make seven-day sweet refrigerator pickles. Easy and delicious. All right, we got those done. This is about the size bowl I like to work with. I do this every year in this bowl. So the next step on day one is to put one cup of salt over your cucumbers. So we've got our salt over our cucumbers. Now there's no measurement to this except the one cup of salt and covering them with water, which is our next step. So uh, I've got my water heating in my little electric heater upper. <laughs> That's what I call it, heater upper. And we're going to cover these with boiling water. If you haven't saw this, I love this. And I tell everybody on my YouTube channel and all my friends and family, if you don't have a heater upper, I don't know what it's called, electric kettle that heats up water, you need one whether you can or not. So let's pour this boiling water over these pickles. Now what I did, because my bowl is glass and it was cold, I set it in a bowl of hot water to prepare it for this. I don't want it to break. So this is an old family recipe that was shared with me. Right now we're just pouring boiling water over the cucumbers and the salt to cover the cucumbers completely. There's no certain amount of cucumbers you have to have. And I know many will question me on that, but this is just an old family recipe, and I've done it for years. So because this is hot, I'm just going to lightly place the lid on it, but you want to cover these when they cool. And I'm going to place these on a table in my sunroom. I actually have my sunroom blinds closed because I've got my cannon jars in here from yesterday. That's the uh, salsa verde that we made yesterday, and I'll be taking them downstairs today, taking the rings off. Now we're setting our pickles in here. I'm probably just going to uncover those for a while till it cools off, and then we'll cover them up for the night. Day one, a cup of salt over your sliced cucumbers and cover them with hot boiling water. Day one, sweet refrigerator pickles. So after we do the salt and the water, we're going to put the lids on these after they cool, and we're going to let them sit for 24 hours. As you can see, I did some more, and I've got to take those jars downstairs. I love this table. This table is huge. Sundays during garden season, it's just full till I can get it all put where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to work on our sweet refrigerator pickles. Now this is day two, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pickles, we're gonna pour them in a colander, and we're gonna rinse them in cold water. That's all we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. I 
these have been sitting on the counter in salt water for 24 hours. They actually look like pickles, don't they? Now you want to rinse these several times in cold, cold water. I want to get all that salt off of them. Now I want you to keep in mind that every day is about three to five minutes is all you do for seven days. It's great. Just make sure you get all the salt off those cucumbers. So my pickles will go right in a bowl like this and sit on the counter while I wash the containers and I'm gonna put the pickles back in. And that's the bowls that they come out of. And I don't want salt in there, so I'm gonna wash them really good. Now we're just gonna put our cucumbers back in the containers that we're gonna make them in. Now at this point, you can layer onions in here and it is delicious, I'm just out. And just a reminder, we're still on day two. So let's go over what we done. Yesterday, day one, we covered these in basically salt water and boiling salt water. We sat them on the counter for 24 hours. Today, we rinsed them with cold water and we separated it back into the containers that they came out of. Or if you have a big bowl and can fit it in your refrigerator, I just can't do that, I don't have the room. Uh, you can layer with onions at this point or not. The only reason I'm not is not because I don't like them, because I love them, but because I'm out of onions and I haven't been to the store in a few weeks. So now what we're gonna do is add one cup of sugar into each container. Now I know many of you are gonna say there's more there's more cucumbers in this one than there is in the other one. But I'm telling y'all, it will all balance out when we get done. So we're gonna add one cup, this is half cup by the way, of sugar onto our rinsed cucumbers. Next, what we're gonna do is add one quart of vinegar. <clears throat> to our cucumbers. I'm using white distilled vinegar, the kind you use for canning. And I'm just gonna pour this quart over that sugar with these cucumbers. Now I'm sure a quart won't fit in here, but we're gonna cover Let's just pour it like this. We're gonna cover these cucumbers with vinegar. I do like to cover them. Day two, we've put sugar over our rinsed cucumbers. You can layer onions if you want to. And then we're gonna cover them and put them in the refrigerator until tomorrow. Easiest pickles you'll ever make if you like sweet pickles. My problem will be finding a place for it. Let's see, I gotta get my jalapenos in, out anyway. I just realized I've done this whole video without a microphone. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put these cucumbers in the refrigerator. I'm hoping that these will sit right on top. And then you just say, bye-bye till tomorrow. Easy pickles. Pickle, hey y'all, this is day three of making our refrigerator sweet pickles. And I wanna show you what I'm doing today. I've got on my ragged t-shirt that I love to wear and hair not fixed and no makeup. We're not doing anything today. We took the day off, but I gotta do this. So it's day three. We're gonna have one cup of sugar. We're gonna mash it up, and then we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator. This is half cup increments. This bowl right here, we might have to get a bigger bowl here in a day or so. Now the only other thing we do today is we just mash the, the cucumbers down.
We're actually just mashing them down into the vinegar. Getting that sugar under the vinegar, under the liquid. And that's all we're gonna do. Just a reminder, this is day three. That's it for today. Y'all, it's day four. I almost forgot to do my pickles. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Let's get them done. I'm definitely going to change bowls. So we're going to pour these into a bigger container. This is the small ones. And I need to get all that sugar into this. I know y'all are thinking, oh my goodness, how much sugar this is. But y'all, sweet pickles and jam have a lot of sugar in them. So guess what? Day four is just like day three. We're gonna repeat day three. Very easy. One cup of sugar in each of the cucumbers and mash it down. This is about as easy as it comes. I was fixing to quit for the day, y'all. So one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar in this. I use my potato masher and I just mash it down. You just wanna get that sugar moved around on top of those cucumbers. Doesn't take a minute. Very same here. You know, I almost am gonna split this up and add this since I got more room here. Let's see. I think I'm gonna take some of these out of the big one, place it in this small one. Give us more room in here. And then I'll use the liquid to make sure this is covered. And it is. That is a sticky, sticky syrup. So you wanna make sure and clean up your mess if you, if you spilled any. So now I'm just gonna put the lid back on these. So I've put the sugar on them, I've mashed them up, and these will go back in the refrigerator. And just a reminder, this is day four. I'm having to rearrange and make room for that bigger container. My goodness, are y'all like me and got a crowded refrigerator? And I'm cleaning it out. Can you imagine? It's crazy. But just think, we only have three more days on those and we're done. So that was day four. Day four. Tomorrow will be day five. Let's hope I don't forget. <laughs> if you do, it's okay. Just do it the next day. Today is day five of our refrigerator sweet pickles we're doing. If you haven't been following that, I'm going to combine all seven days when I get it done. But every video will have day one, day two, and I'll put the recipe in the description box. Day five of the sweet pickles that I almost forgot. So we've been working on these for four days so far, and if you do forget a day, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So this is this is my sweet pickles in the container here. I put it in, and then this is the rest of them. It's seven day refrigerator pickles and today is day five so i'm gonna take the lids off and i'm gonna show you what we do this is so easy y'all day five is the same as day four so you put one cup of sugar in each container 
and then you press it down with a potato masher or whatever. You're not going to mash them where they're breaking. You're just going to mash them down where the sugar's under the liquid. Just like this. Whoops, see, I spilled sugar already. So this is half cup increments. So I'm put one cup of sugar in each container. There's no measurement on the the cucumbers, y'all. It's just this is just a home recipe that somebody shared with me, and I make it every year. So all I'm doing now is just pressing this down and kind of stirring that sugar up. You don't really want to stir it up really a lot, but you want to press it down. Now let's press this down. Now that's day five. It's going back in the refrigerator. They're already looking like pickles. If you haven't been keeping up, look in the description box and I will have the recipe in there. Promise. <clears throat> but as soon as the seven days are up, well, we got two more days, then I'll do a bit, just a video of little clips. I don't know if I'm gonna get that in there or not. Yeah, there it goes. Little clips of each day. These go back in the refrigerator, covered up. I think I forgot my microphone again. My refrigerator is still not cleaned out, y'all. We're still working on it. If you joined us a few days ago, you know that we're working hard on preserving food. And when you preserve food, your refrigerator is full. Get these pickles ready. Hey y'all, I've been gone all day and it's day six of the pickles and I almost forgot it. I'm ready for bed. So let me go out and get these out of the refrigerator and show you what day six is. So here we are again, doing the same thing over. I think I'm gonna set them over here. Move these. Now again, if you do skip a day and you just forget, just continue the next day. It will be fine. I've almost made it through to day seven. Day seven will be tomorrow and I'll get to post this video. So day six, this is what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna get sugar. I bet y'all never guessed that. Sugar again, sweet refrigerator pickles, y'all. I'm gonna take the lids off. I was fixing to go to bed and I told Sweet Yana, I said, I gotta go upstairs. I gotta do these refrigerator pickles, which is so easy. These are so good, y'all. So again, we're adding one cup of sugar to each container. So all we're doing really is we're repeating yesterday. Y'all, they smell so good and they already smell like pickles. I can't wait to try one. And guess what's next? We're gonna mash the pickles down because that sugar does get in the bottom. Oh my goodness, these look so good. You don't wanna mash them so that you tear them, but you wanna get that sugar stirred around. And you just mash the pickles and they'll just get down in that sugar. Oh my goodness, I'm really tempted to eat one. Now remember, you can layer onions in these. Remember the first day when I told you that? I just didn't have any. So let's just get one and show you. This is day six, what it looks like. Whew, it's dripping. Day six, what it looks like. Mmm, makes me want to taste of it. I think I'm going to. Um, it's already good. Mm. That is so good. 
Can y'all imagine after day seven and then let it sit a few days? Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. I absolutely love these. It's got a twang of the vinegar. <laughs> Makes my ice water. And it's got the sugar to make it sweet. I'm telling you, I could eat them like that. I love to have these for Thanksgiving because I make potato salad a lot. And these are great in potato salad. They're great just by themselves. Y'all, just a reminder, this is day six. <clears throat> so that was day six. Um, day six, you just add a cup of sugar to each of your containers or your container if you have one and mash the cucumbers down. Day six. Tomorrow's day seven. I'm excited. I'm glad I didn't forget. And today is day seven. So today is the day we will put them in jars. If you want to put them in jars, I'm just going to keep mine in a container. Uh, I like this. I love this cracker container, and I think they'll all fit in that. So I'm going to stir these up and get them in that. But first, we got to add more sugar. <laughs> So as you do your cucumbers, you'll notice that they shrink, just like the okra does and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my cucumbers in here, and I want to make sure it's covered with liquid and has that extra sugar from this container in here. But this is what I'm going to store my sweet pickles in. I'm so afraid I've been saying sweet potatoes, but it's sweet pickles, y'all. Now, there's no way that these would have fit in this container to, to begin with. They just shrivel up. The main thing is you want this liquid covering these cucumbers. So, as you can see, I've got a lot of liquid left in this bowl, and I'm going to pour what I can over this. I'm going to cover these. I'm going to go ahead and put a cup of sugar in these today. Y'all know it has, <clears throat> sorry about that, y'all. I have been, I've had a sinus infection just getting over it. So y'all know this has plenty of sugar in it. So since I've got it in one container, I'm just adding one cup today. But if you still have it in two containers, Add the one cup to each container, and then as you spoon it in the jars, you'll know how much liquid you're going to use. So normally I do it in the quart jars. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. And so I want that completely covered. And then I'm going to take, then I'm going to take my potato masher again. And I'm going to mash these up. Aren't these beautiful? Now you can stir these as you want to. You can stir them up. These will just get better and better. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So y'all know I have to try another one. I tried one last night. Mmm. So crunchy. They're ready to eat right now. So seven day sweet refrigerator pickles. That is so good. So good. I can't wait to make a pot of beans. I think we're gonna do that this weekend. Sweet Hunter saw one of my old videos. They had pintos and fried potatoes. He said, can we have that this weekend? So I guess that's what we're gonna have. Thank y'all for joining me for seven day refrigerator pickles. And Monica told me these, these in the refrigerator, they'll last in this vinegar for two years. It won't last that long here.
Y'all go cook something. It's been fun. <laughs>